This video has been brought to you by DataVinci Analytics Agency. In this video, I'll be sharing a tested keyword strategy that you can use for your Google Ad campaigns. If you have been using Google Ads for a while, you might have noticed that Google made some changes to how keywords work. Even though it has been few months since the update, many businesses are still sticking to their old strategies and losing money. For example, a common strategy for keywords and ad group was to find all the keywords related to their products and services and then they will put them all together into three ad groups where the only difference is that each ad group had a different match type. So ad group 1 will be all exact match, ad group 2 will be phrase match and ad group 3 will be all broad match. However, this approach is not working anymore and here's why. In front of me, I have got Google support document on keyword match type and some of the information here is very interesting. If you focus on exact match, the little description beneath it says that ads may show on searches that are the same meaning as your keyword. And the example here is for the keyword furniture store. So let's say if you are targeting the keyword furniture store, according to Google, the exact match can get you searches like furniture store and home furnishing shop. And that's quite different from what it used to be. Exact match meant that your ads would only show up if someone searched for the exact keyword, word to word. However, this update allows your ad to appear for all the searches that have similar meaning to your keyword. This change means that separating keywords into exact match, phrase match and broad match ad group is not very effective now. Because the searches that you might have been thinking to be triggered by only phrase match or broad match can now also be triggered by exact match keywords. So instead of organizing ad groups strictly by match type, it's better to group your ad groups based on their meaning and include multiple match types within each group. This ensures a more cohesive structure that aligns closely with the intent behind each keyword. To understand it a little better, let me give you an example. Let's assume that we want to promote a home delivery business where one service is to deliver meal kits at home and the other one is to simply deliver groceries. Now you might be thinking that both are delivery services for food and therefore you can put them together into the same ad group or perhaps as people used to do create an exact phrase and broad match ad group variations for those. But it's much better off now to actually create a separate ad group for both. So we'll create a separate ad group for meal kit delivery and you could have a mix of exact match and phrase match keyword there and then a separate ad group for online grocery delivery in a similar manner. So that's a better way to group your keywords into ad groups which also means that you can better tailor your messaging within your ads. So for someone that's searching for online meal kit delivery, they'll see an ad that contains headline with the term meal kit delivery. And for another example, let's say if someone searches for online grocery delivery near me, because we have added them in a separate ad group and tailored the messaging, the user will see an online grocery delivery in the headline. And in case you are using a tag in your headline, it can also mention the user's current location in the headline. This way, you are having an ad that's more personalized to your consumer's requirement and they are far more likely to click on that. And then maybe if you go an extra mile, they'll also go through a specific landing page or a funnel that specifically mentions that particular service. And then they are more likely to convert as well. You're more likely to get the business and your campaign will be much more effective and much more profitable. All right, there's one more thing I would like to mention about this keyword change. If you are used to running ads before this update, you would know that earlier if you type a specific keyword, ads would show up solely based upon the word. But now it's more about the meaning behind the word. So even if someone does not type the exact keyword, but they're looking for something similar, your ads might still pop up. That means that the types of searches triggering your ads are getting broader. So if you are used to exact match or phrase match, you might not get exactly what you are expecting anymore. That's because more searches could trigger your ads even if they are not spot on. Google is doing this to get advertisers to spend more. But as advertisers, we need to be smart about it. That means spending time going through our search term reports. If we see searches that don't quite fit with what we are selling, we add them as a negative keyword. And this helps us to make sure our ads are showing up for the right searches and we are not wasting our budgets on the ones that won't give us good results. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, don't forget to smash that thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.